We thank God for his shelter and protection over our lives. Today is a brand new day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is the Church of Pentecost, uh, PIWC, and we would like to begin the service with a series of prayers. Amen. Wherever you are, you just want to be on your feet, and if you are watching online, um, just know that wherever you are, it's now the sanctuary of God and the presence of God is there. Amen. We just want to start by thanking God for his mercies over our lives. When we read the book of Psalms, chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, and I'm reading from the NLT. This is a Psalm of David. It says, Oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. The verse 4 says, I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. The verse 5 is what I love the most. It says, I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. Hallelujah. The Lord has been watching over you and I, over our families, over our careers and everything. We just want to be on our feet and begin to say, Father, we thank you. This morning, we are grateful unto you for watching over our families. Father, we are grateful unto you. For we slept and we woke up, but God's hand was with us, hallelujah. God has watched over you and I, over our families, over, over, over our brothers and sisters, over the church, over our careers, over our children. We go and we come, many are the plans of the enemies, but God has delivered us from them all. God has set us a standard so high that the enemy cannot go. Just by his grace, hallelujah. Libra Katoleva. Wherever you are, if you watch your life on YouTube or Facebook, you want to raise your voice as we are doing here and begin to bless the name of the living God. Give him all the praise. Express your thanks to him, your gratitude to him. The Father, we are grateful unto you, O God. Father, we are grateful unto you, O God. Not everybody is able to go and come back home safely. Not everybody is able to send the children out and they come back home safely. But you, O oh Lord, has been our fortress, O oh God. Like I told Shiri Bidu Nakapa, as a church, we raise our voice in unity. And we say we are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you, Father. Our Father, we are grateful unto you. Oh, for granting us that you need help. We are grateful unto you. For exempting us from, from the power of the enemy. Father, we are grateful unto you. Many were the terrors that flew at night. But Father, you have delivered us from it all. 
it is possible to speak into your day. Man shall not live and bread alone. But by the word of God. That means the word of God is able to give life. The word of God is able to give life to your bodies and souls. and thinking nothing can be done about it. I'm here to tell you that God is able to make everything new again. That God is still in the business of creating new things. If there's an issue with your body that you feel things are not going on well, this morning God can create something new in your life. If you're waiting for a divine opportunity, God is able to create something new in your life. You want to raise your voice this morning and say, Father, create something new in my life this morning. Even as I go through the service, Father, let this be made a new in my life. In the lives of my children, let this be made a new. In the lives of my ministry, my career, let this, let new things fall in place for me. From the opening prayer to the time we share the grace, we want to see the hand of God lifted up in His church. We pray that God will turn this altar into a fire. 
that we will not do things according to our own minds. Nous pas faire les choses selon but everything that we we'll do here will be pleasing unto Him. Mais toutes choses que nous faisons aujourd'hui. In the mighty name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. That any obstacle that will be a hindrance to our deliverance this morning. That the Spirit of God will roll them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Spirit divine, take up control over the entire service. Oh, from the opening prayer to the closing prayer, oh God, to the grace that will be said in your church. Commit every aspect of the service into your hands. From the instrumentalist to the audiovisual to us, we know God. To those that will lead the service this morning, let your power take control. Any works of the enemy is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabako, Sakate, Livrako, we thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. We give you the glory this morning, oh God. For we have come unto Mount Zion to have an experience of you. We pray that even as we have gathered here, pray that you will touch our lives, oh God. We pray that you will let miracles upon miracles happen in our service this morning, oh God. May those waiting to hear a word from you hear from you this morning, oh God. Father, for those waiting for a touch to have an experience of you even for the first time, we pray that the Spirit of God will make this happen in Jesus' mighty name. We commit the entire service into your hands, Lord. That, Father, you will take absolute, Father, dominion over everything that will happen. That at the end, glory and honor shall be given unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name have we prayed with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a very big amen. 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 Please rise up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? It's like, I don't know if it's the cold or you are tired. Ask the person standing next to you. Are you excited to be here today? What did the person say? Yes? Amen. All right, so today, before we start praises, we're going to add a little twist to it. Amen. Amen. So I'm sure we all did Sunday school at some, at some point in our lives. <laughs> so today we're going to go to Sunday school for a bit. Then we continue with praises. Amen. 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 If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Please clap as if your hands belong to you. Mm? <laughs> Their hands are for you. You want to thank God that you can at least clap your hands. Amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy, okay, now this one you have to listen well. If you're happy and you know it, give three people high five. We can use the sanitizer afterwards, no problem. If you're happy and you know it, give three people a high five. We are counting no. Ah, one. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give three people a high five. Good. If you're happy and you know it, say hello to someone. Hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello to someone. Hi. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say hello to someone. Okay, the last one. If you're happy and you know it, say the Lord is good. The Lord is good. If you're happy and you know it, say the Lord is good. The Lord is good. If you're happy and you know it, and you really 
you want to show it if you're happy and you know he said the lord is good the lord is good all right now we are going to write the gmat exams now or ielts we are going to do all four so let's see those who can remember amen we are my Sunday school kids are here. I trust you, right? You guys can do all four, right? Yes. Wonderful. Now let's see if mommy and daddies can do it. All right, so we're going to do all four. I'm not going to tell you. So let's see if you can remember. Amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. The Lord is good. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Is good if you're happy i am watching you know, some people they are just they are just looking at my i'm watching huh? the last one i'm watching if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it do all four the lord is good amen give yourself a big round of applause you guys are amazing thank you so much god bless you Hallelujah! And now I want you to dance as if your feet belong to you and your body belongs to you and that you're grateful that the Lord kept you throughout this week. Amen! Amen. Hallelujah!
your time. We're going to be jumping. Amen. Amen. This is one week of gym. We are doing it all today. Amen. Are you ready to jump? Hallelujah. Oh, let him up. Dans la présence du Seigneur. 
Oh, such a privilege to be called a child of God. C'est un privilège d'être appelé enfant de Dieu. And if you are called a child of God, it's indeed a privilege to worship Him. Et si vous êtes appelé enfant de Dieu, c'est un privilège de l'adorer. So this morning, let everything that is within you. Alors ce matin, que toute chose qui est en vous. Worship the Lord. Adore le Seigneur. In Psalm 95, verse 6. Um, Psalm 95, verse 6. The Bible says that, oh, come, let us worship the Lord. La Bible nous dit de venir et d'adorer le Seigneur. And let us bow down. Prosternons-nous. And let us kneel before the Lord our God. Et agenons-nous devant lui. Our Maker. Notre Créateur. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 29. Et 2 Chroniques chapitre 29. Verses 28. Bible makes us understand that Hezekiah assembled the priests. Ezekiel a rassemblé les prêtres. The prophets. Les prophètes. And the people of Judah. Et le peuple de Judas. Into the house of the Lord. Dans la maison du Seigneur. To worship the Most High God. Pour adorer le plus haut. It says that then Hezekiah commanded them to offer burnt offering. Et il leur a demandé de donner des sacrifices. Onto the altar. À l'autel. And when the burnt offering began, Et ont à à the faire, song of the Lord also began Et les de Dieu aussi with trumpets avec des and with all instruments avec tous les instruments of David, the king of Israel. De David, le roi d'Israël. So the assembly worshiped the Lord. Et donc a le the singers sang les ont and the trumpeters sounded. Et les and Bible says that they did all these, they continue to do all these until the burnt offering got finished. We have come before our maker this morning. Let us offer him continuous worship in all genuineness. Let all that is within us worship the Lord this morning. Begin to declare his goodness. Oh, let all that is within you bless his holy name this morning. Lima kosaka talelebe kabrosaka. Oh, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, no one can be compared unto you, Jesus. Le mosike talelebe kabrosaka. You are Yahweh. You are away. You are away. You are away. How far and no make up, Jesus. You are. 
worship the Lord right now. But just look unto Jesus. The one that was slain. And on this third day, the Bible says that he robbed the grave. If you have nothing to say, just look to Jesus right now. He been hung on a tree. He did all this to love you. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. I know you may be going through challenges, which makes it even harder. But the beauty is that He still loves you. And whatever that is within you this morning, just declare it. Limo sike telele me kosa kala, rosi ke telele me kosa kala ba, makori andara ba kosi ke telele me kabosa. Jesus, kosa telele me kabra so telele me. Oh Lord, we have come before you this morning. Take all the glory. Some serve God that cannot see, but we serve an omnipotent God. Our God is alive. Therefore, we are bold to honor you this morning. Jesus. Savior. Jesus is your Savior. Rescued me from the hands of the enemy. 
and brought me into the kingdom of his dear own son. Oh Jesus, this morning, we acknowledge that you are a helper. You are our sufficiency. Without you, we cannot do anything. Oh, some rely on what they have. But Jesus, to this morning, we have come to you, acknowledging who you are to us. Oh, Jesus, you are everything. Continue to glorify his name. Jesus. Jesus. Be magnified, oh Lord. You are highly exalted, and there is nothing you.
Oh, how sweet the name of Jesus sounds. Oh, Lord, as we cry out unto you this morning. Oh, Father, Lord, accept our worship. Jesus, take all the glory. Take all the honor. For no one can be compared unto you. Oh, who are we that you are mindful of us? Father, Lord Jesus. Who are we that you are mindful of us, oh God? Jesus, be exalted. Oh, be exalted forevermore. For he who sits on his holy throne. Oh God, Seigneur Jésus, sois élevé in our midst. Parmi nous. We commit the rest of the service into your hands, oh God. Le reste du culte en tes mains. Father Lord, we ask that you shall transform us Père, Seigneur, transform -nous by your word. Avec ta parole. That we will move out of this sanctuary Et lorsque nous quittons ce sanctuaire, to impact people. Nous allons impacter la vie des gens. That all men shall be drawn unto you, Jesus. Et que toute personne vienne à toi, Jésus. We bless your holy name. Bénissons ton Saint nom. In Jesus' name. Au nom Amen. De Jésus. Amen. If you are here this morning, vous êtes ici ce matin, or you're watching us online, ou vous êtes en ligne, you're in the right place, amen. Vous êtes au bon endroit. And we'd like to express our appreciation to all those nous allons montrer notre appréciation à toutes les personnes um, who are working so hard um, during the service. Qui travaillent dur durant le culte. So for the housekeeping and the core team, God bless you. Et pour les personnes qui prennent soin de la de l'église, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Uh, the technical team, the worship team. L'équipe technique de louange et d'adoration. Uh, also the Sunday school teachers working downstairs. Et aussi um, les enseignants de l'école du dimanche qui sont en bas. And our translator over here as well. Et aussi les traducteurs. Well, we just say God, may God richly bless you. Et nous disons que le Seigneur vous bénisse abondamment. Now please, uh, let's take note of the following announcements. Donc nous allons prendre les annonces, écouter les annonces suivantes. Uh, this Tuesday there will be a Pensa meeting. Il y aura une réunion Pensa ce mardi. Um, at Carlton University at Southern Hall. Ça sera à l'Université Carlton. Dans, uh, à Southern Hall. At 7 p.m. on Tuesday. À 19h le mardi. And the topic for discussion is the price of excellence. Amen. Et le thème c'est le prix de l'excellence. Excellence. Oh, and all students and affiliates are encouraged to participate. Et tous les étudiants sont encouragés à y participer. Amen. Amen. Also coming up, there will be a Holy Spirit convention. Amen. Il y aura une convention du Saint Esprit. Now this will be at the area level. Et ça sera au niveau de la région. And this is beginning tomorrow, October 17th to October 23rd. Alors ça sera du 17 au 23 octobre. And the theme, as you can see on the screen, is empowered to possess. Amen. Et le thème, c'est habilité à posséder. 
And this is will be and this this is taken from Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. Et donc le thème est pris de Matthieu 28 verset 20. As well as Luke 24:49 and Acts chapter 1 verse 9. Luke 24 verset 49 et Actes chapitre 1 verset 9. And the in-person services will be taking place on Thursday and Friday. Il y aura aussi le culte en personne le jeudi et vendredi soir. And those will be at the district level at 7 p.m. Et ça sera au niveau um, du district à 19h. And then the climax will be on the following Sunday, amen. Et donc le dimanche qui suit, nous allons clôturer cette convention. And for a, just a uh, side note, for Holy Spirit Convention, I want us to all come with an expectation, amen. Et donc pour cette convention, venez tous avec des attentes. This is a time for the Spirit to move within us, so let us come with expect. Let us come with an expectation for God to do great things in our lives. Va beaucoup agir parmi nous, donc venons avec des attentes. Amen. Amen. As well, God's generals will be meeting today at 6 p.m. on Zoom. Et donc uh, le groupe uh, les généraux de Dieu vont se rencontrer ce soir à 18 h sur Zoom. And the topic is the ABCs of mortgage part two. Et donc le thème est um, um, en comprendre l'hypothèque ou le, les bases de l'hypothèque, partie 2. And this is a very important topic where we see how the housing and everything has been changing in the past couple of months and year, past Et two years. C'est un thème très important. Nous voyons comment um, le marché change depuis quelques années. So please come and learn information about buying a new house. Et venez et apprenez aussi des informations et des informations sur la manière d'acheter une nouvelle maison. Amen. Amen. And also as a result of our continuous uh, faithful giving. Et um, parce que nous donnons de manière fidèle. Uh, once again, the church was able to meet its financial obligations for the month of September. Est en mesure de s'occuper de ses obligations financières. I just like to say to everyone, may God richly bless you for your generous contributions. Que Dieu vous bénisse abondamment pour vos contributions généreuses. And as usual, we continue to um, encourage you all to provide your tithes and your offering. Nous vous encourageons à continuer à donner um, vos dîmes et offrandes. And if you prefer an uh, e-transfer, the e-transfer account is cop Ottawa District at gmail.com. Si vous préférez donner électroniquement, le courriel est cop Ottawa District gmail.com. And if you prefer to uh, hand in your tithes and offering in person in cash. Et si vous voulez donner um, uh, de man- en cash. Um, there will be a moment in the service um, to, to do so. Il y aura un moment pa- durant le culte pour le faire. Amen. Amen. So as we're about to uh, listen to the word of God, I ask that we all prepare our hearts and our minds. Alors que nous allons écouter la parole de Dieu, nous allons préparer nos cœurs et nos pensées. And just as usual, come with an expectation to hear from God. Amen. Et donc, venez avec des attentes pour écouter de la part de Dieu. Because we don't, we don't want to come, we don't want to leave the same way we came in. Amen. Nous voulons pas retourner comme nous sommes venus. So at this point in time, I'd like to invite. At this point in time, I'd like to invite um, our elder Stephen Asamoa to provide us the word of God. Amen.
Seigneur, garde-moi près de la croix. I will humbly ask that the singers join me even as we sing this song. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Lord, that your spirit will speak to our hearts. Break every chain in our lives and transform our lives for the better to your glory. And keep us focused on the primary call of your, your, your primary call upon our lives. That we continually live and serve you all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This morning we give praise to God for the opportunity to meet at his feet. Ce matin nous disons merci à Dieu pour l'opportunité qui nous donne d'être rassemblés ici. And on this note, I would like to recognize the presence of the divine Holy Spirit in our midst. Et donc nous voulons reconnaître la présence du Saint-Esprit parmi nous. 
and the apostles of the church, our own daddy in our midst. Et aussi notre apôtre qui est parmi nous. And then the heavenly hosts around us this morning. Et tous les anges qui sont autour de nous ce matin. And I also recognize, I mean, the, everyone in the house of God. Et nous reconnaissons aussi la présence de tout un chacun ici. And I thank God for the privilege of coming to stand before his people. Et je dis merci au Seigneur pour le privilège qu'il me donne d'être à To present the word of God as he has instructed me. Pour vous donner la parole de Dieu. Hallelujah. Amen. As we all know, Comme nous le savons tous, the theme for the Church of Pentecost throughout the world this year le thème de l'église de Pentecôte uh, durant cette année is equipping the church as an army to possess the nations. Équiper l'église comme une armée pour posséder les nations. So under the leadership of the chairman of the church of Pentecost et donc sous la responsabilité um, du leader de l'église de Pentecôte and, our, and under our, our own national leadership et aussi sous la responsabilité de notre uh, um, église nationale coming to our own area leadership et en parlant des responsables de la région and to our district leadership et aussi des responsables du district all efforts are being channeled towards accomplishing this mission to the glory of god nous mettons tous nos efforts afin de pouvoir accomplir cette mission que dieu nous a donné cette année so if you have paid close attention to all messages throughout the year donc si vous avez fait attention à tous les messages qui ont été donnés durant l'année you might have recognized that all messages center around the theme equipping the church to put as an army to possess the nations. Vous êtes rendu compte que tous les messages tournent autour du thème équiper l'église comme une armée pour posséder les nations. In our own district that is Ottawa district. Et donc dans notre district ici à Ottawa. A lot of transformations are taking place. Nous avons eu plusieurs transformations. And we bless the Lord for these transformations. Et nous bénissons le Seigneur pour ces transformations. And we thank the church for everyone's cooperation. Et nous disons merci à l'église pour vos this efforts. This morning in line with the theme of the church. Et donc ce matin um, en relation avec le thème de l'église. I, I would like to speak on the topic insights for the church which is the body of Christ. Et je vais parler du thème euh, l'église euh, euh, le corps du Christ. That is insights from our Lord Jesus Christ for the church which Donc, is the body of Christ. Nous allons voir ce que Jésus-Christ pense de l'église qui est le corps de Jésus. And on this note, I would like us to take our Bibles uh, to Matthew chapter 24. Nous allons lire Matthieu 24. The verses that I will be focusing on is verse 1 to 14. Nous allons nous focaliser sur les versets 1 à 14. And I also touch on verses 36 to 44. Et aussi les versets 36 à 44. This same account of scripture is um, um, demonstrated in Luke chapter 21. Nous avons cette même histoire aussi dans Luc 21. And I will, I will be taking an excerpt from verses 34 to 36. Nous allons aussi voir quelques extraits um, 36 à 44. Amen. God bless everyone. Que Dieu bénisse tout le monde. I read from Matthew chapter 24 verses 1 to 4. Matthieu 24, 1 à 4. He says, Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, Quand? and his disciples came to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, Do you not see all these things? Assuredly, as I, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the age? I will end at verse 3. Please, uh, you can translate. Okay. Donc, uh, Matthieu 24, verset 1 à 3. Comme Jésus s'en allait au sorti du temple, ses disciples s'approchèrent pour lui en faire remarquer les constructions. Mais il leur dit, voyez-vous tout cela, je vous le dis en vérité, il ne restera pas ici pierre sur pierre qui ne soit renversé. Il s'assit sur la montagne des oliviers. Et les disciples virent en particulier lui faire cette question. Dis-nous quand cela arrivera-t-il et quel sera le signe de ton avènement et de la fin du monde. Amen. Amen. The message this morning is based on the dialogue between Jesus and his people. Et le message ce matin est basé sur le dialogue entre Jésus et son peuple. And for that matter, between Jesus and his church. Um, Jésus, entre Jésus et son église. 
The dialogue began like this that they were looking at how beautiful the temple was adorned. Et donc les disciples regardaient comment les bâtiments étaient beaux. And then they saw all the decorations and how beautiful the temple looked like. Et ils ont vu comment est-ce que um, le temple était bien décoré. And they were pointing out to Jesus, oh, that Jesus, this is so beautiful. Look at the temple. It is so nice. Et ils disaient à Jésus, regarde Jésus, ce bâtiment, c'est très beau. So the disciples perhaps might have been so proud and happy to demonstrate to Jesus how beautiful the temple is. Et peut-être les disciples étaient fiers de démontrer à Jésus comment le bâtiment était beau. And it is absolutely true. They, are, they were right in doing that. Et ils avaient raison de le faire. However, Jesus in, in their dialogue pointed out something to them that I want us to look at. Mais Jésus leur a dit quelque chose et j'aimerais que nous regardions cela. So Jesus told them that do you see all these beautiful things that are showing all over the temple? Jésus leur dit est-ce que vous voyez toutes ces belles choses tout autour du temple? And he said as surely as it is I am telling you that that a time is coming that not one stone in the temple shall be upon the other. Everything will crumble down. Mais Jésus leur dit, je vous le dis en vérité, il ne restera pas ici pierre sur pierre qui ne soit renversé. Tout sera détruit. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking about the dialogue between Jesus and his people. Donc nous parlons du dialogue entre Jésus et ses disciples. Now, when Jesus told this, the, the, this to the disciples, they marveled at the saying. Et quand Jésus Christ leur a dit ceci, les disciples étaient émerveillés. And the disciples did something that I would like us to pay attention to in this message. Et les disciples ont fait quelque chose uh, dont j'aimerais que nous fassions attention. Verse 3 of um, Matthew chapter 24 verse 3 t- 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 tells us this. Et le verset 3 de Matthieu 24 nous dit. He said, now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Et lorsque Jésus Christ um, s'est assis sur la montagne des Oliviers, It's He said the disciples came to him privately. I want us to underline the word privately. Et donc les disciples sont venus à lui en privé. Donc vous pouvez souligner privé. And they said, tell us, when will these things be? What Et shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the age? Et leur, um, les disciples ont posé cette question. Dis-nous, quand cela arrivera-t-il et quel sera le signe de ton avènement et de la fin du monde? Brothers and sisters, the message that I would like to bring across is that Aujourd'hui, le message que j'aimerais porter. Jesus was together with the disciples going about the ministry. Jésus était um, avec ses disciples lorsqu'il faisait son ministère. And I believe there were so many people with them. Et je pense qu'il y avait beaucoup de gens so, avec eux. When they spoke about how beautiful the temple was. Lorsque les disciples ont parlé de la manière dont le temple était joli. And when Jesus made that statement that not one stone of the temple will be left upon the other. Et lorsque Jésus-Christ a, um, a déclaré qu'aucune pierre ne resterait, All of them heard this. tout le monde a entendu cela. Mais la the, the Bible goes on to say that the disciples came to Jesus privately. Mais la Bible nous dit que les disciples sont allés voir Jésus-Christ en particulier. Those who came to Jesus privately got some. Uh, 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 peculiar revelations for them. Et les personnes qui sont venues à Jésus-Christ en privé ont reçu une révélation particulière. My brother, my sister, what I want to say this morning is that Chers frères et sœurs, ce matin, j'aimerais vous dire We may be together as a body of Christ. Nous sommes peut-être ensemble comme corps du Christ. We may be an entire crowd following the Lord. Peut-être que c'est toute une foule, nous sommes toute une foule qui suit Jésus. But for you and I to gain access to the mysteries of God. Mais afin que nous puissions avoir accès aux mystères de Dieu. And for you and I to have a special ministration from the Lord. Et pour que nous puissions avoir une révélation spéciale de Dieu. We need to approach the Lord privately. Nous devons approcher le Seigneur en privé. It is beautiful for us to come together as a body of Christ. C'est beau que nous soyons ensemble ici comme corps du Christ. And partake in the corporate worship. Et nous nous adorons ensemble. It is beautiful and pleasant and glorious. C'est beau et c'est glorifiant. However, cependant, for you and I to be able to receive something special and something divine and powerful from the Lord. Pouvoir recevoir quelque chose de spécial et puissant Remember de la part de Dieu. That there is a need for you to go to the Lord in that privately. Vous manner. devez aller um, au Seigneur en privé. 
He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High Celui qui habite sous l'abri shall de dwell de under the shadow of the mighty sera sous oh l'abri du Tout-Puissant. In the secret place of the Lord, my brother, my sister, Dans we tap into the resources that Seigneur, are there for us. Nous recevons les ressources dont nous avons besoin. So I would like to implore all of us this morning. Donc ce matin, je that let's courage. make it the habit of coming to the secret place of the Lord. Faisons une habitude d'aller dans l'endroit secret du Seigneur. Spend that private moment with the Lord. Trouvez ce moment privé avec le Seigneur. Find time to spend before the Lord secretly and privately in prayer. Cherchez du temps, trouvez du temps pour passer avec le Seigneur en prière. And in the study of his word. Et étudier sa parole. And the Lord will show you mighty and great things that your mind never fathom. Et le Seigneur va vous montrer de grandes choses vous n'avez même pas imaginé. Hallelujah. Amen. When the disciples came to him privately, they said, tell us, when shall these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Et lorsque les disciples sont venus voir Jésus, ils leur ont demandé, um, dis-nous, quand cela arrivera-t-il et quel sera le signe de ton avènement et de la fin du monde? Hallelujah. Amen. And when Jesus opened his mouth, he said them something that I want us to take note of. Okay. Et lorsque Jésus leur répondit, il a dit quelque chose, j'aimerais que nous portions attention à cela. Jesus answered, verse 4, he said, Jesus answered and said to them, Le verset 4 nous dit, Jésus leur répondit, Take heed that no one deceives you. Prenez garde que personne ne vous séduise. That was the first message from Jesus to the church. C'était le premier message de Jésus à l'église. My brother, my sister, Jesus says, take heed. That no man deceives you. Jésus nous dit de prendre garde que personne ne nous séduise. Deception is the number one weapon of the enemy against the church of God today. Et la déception c'est la première arme de l'ennemi contre l'église. As matin. Church of Pentecost, the Lord has given us the vision to Et reach out into the world to save souls for mankind. Et en tant qu'église, le Seigneur nous a donné cette vision de d'aller dans le monde et de gagner des âmes. But the Bible makes us understand that, understand that the devil comes not but to steal, to kill and to destroy. Mais la Bible nous dit que le diable vient pour détruire, pour voler. And for that matter, all efforts of the devil is to destroy the plan that Jesus has laid for his church. Et donc tous les efforts du diable c'est de détruire les plans que Jésus-Christ a fait pour l'église. And the devil is doing this through deception. Et le diable fait ceci à travers la déception. The Bible says that no wonder the devil himself has, has transformed himself into an angel of light. Et um, la Bible nous dit que le diable s'est transformé en un ange de lumière. You and I, um, by virtue of the so social media around us these days, we do hear a lot. Et à travers les réseaux sociaux, nous entendons beaucoup de choses. We do see a lot also in things like YouTube. Nous voyons beaucoup de choses aussi sur YouTube. The way Christians or people are being deceived under the guise of Christianity. Et les gens sont déçus um, sous prétexte de, du, um, de la chrétienté. I, I cannot go into the specific of, of that, but the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us this morning that take heed that no one deceives you. Jésus Christ nous dit ce matin de prendre garde afin que nous ne soyons pas déçus. Hallelujah. And Jesus goes on to say in verse 5 that for many will come in my name saying I am the Christ and will deceive many. Et le verset 5 nous dit car plusieurs viendront sous mon nom disant c'est moi qui suis le Christ et ils séduiront beaucoup de gens. Perhaps in other words we may not have heard somebody coming that I am Christ. Peut-être au Taon n'avons pas entendu dire um, quelqu'un dire qu'il est Christ. Uh, or I am an angel of Christ because I sit close with him. Ou que je suis un ange du Christ parce que je m'assois proche du Christ. I believe you and I know what is happening. You know all about these things. Vous connaissez, vous êtes au courant de tout ce qui se passe. Some humans that claim to be are much closer to God than you and I do. Il y a des gens qui qui proclament qu'ils sont plus proches de Jésus que And they make themselves like Christ uh, unto others. Et se comportent comme Christ aux autres. But so the caution to the church is that. Many will come in, the, uh, in my name, claiming that they are the Christ. Mais la Bible nous dit que plusieurs viendront sous mon nom, disant qu'ils sont Christ. And the sad thing is that they will deceive many. Et beaucoup seront déçus. 
Further down the passage we are reading. Et nous continuons dans notre passage. If we go further down, uh, um, Jesus says something there. He said, even if the days are not shortened, the very elect will be deceived. Et Jésus dit, même si les jours ne sont pas plus courts, ceux qui ont été élus seront aussi déçus. My brother, my sister, I would like us to, to I would like to draw our attention to this fact that deception is the number one uh, attack of the enemy against the church of God these days. La déception est la première arme de l'ennemi contre l'Église. So as we, as the church, embark on active evangelism and active outreach to build the kingdom of God and to draw more souls unto the Lord, let us go with that truth and on the, uh, uh, true and authenticated word of God to bring souls to Christ. Alors que nous évangélisons dans le monde, utilisons la parole vraie de Christ pour pouvoir gagner des âmes à Christ. Because if you don't do that, the si enemy is cela, doing that actively. L'ennemi utilise cette âme de manière active. It is my prayer that you and I will be awakened. Our consciences will be awakened to the realities going on in our present world. Amen. 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 Jesus says something that I want us to also take note of. Verse, verse 6. Okay, dans le verset 6, Jésus he says, dit, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, if, uh, but the end is not yet. Vous entendrez parler de guerre et de bruit de guerre. Gardez-vous d'être troublé, car il faut que ces choses arrivent, mais ce ne sera pas encore. You will hear of wars. Vous allez entendre parler de guerre. You will hear of conflicts. Vous allez entendre parler de conflits. The Bible says nations will rise against nations. Nation se lèvera contre une autre nation. And kingdoms against kingdoms. Et des royaumes contre d'autres royaumes. My brother, my sister, you and I are privy to these things happening in our time. Et nous voyons ces choses uh, um, se faire uh, durant notre temps. And my, somebody might ask that well, wars and rumors have been ongoing since I mean time. I mean we can think of. Peut-être quelqu'un se dit oh mais ya ya ça fait très longtemps que les guerres là ont commencé. But the Bible makes us aware that these things will continue even as the days of Christ are draw near. Et la Amen. Bible nous dit que ces choses continueront. And it says that uh, the Bible was written I mean so many years ago and it said these things will continue to happen but the end is not yet. La Bible était écrite il y a plusieurs années et cela nous dit que ces choses vont continuer à arriver, mais ce n'est pas encore la fin. Presently in our world, we do hear of, I mean, Russia, Ukraine, war et going on. Et nous entendons parler de la guerre entre la Russie et l'Ukraine. There are other forms of war going on, which is economic power. Et il y a d'autres genres de guerres qui se passent aussi. It no, may not be with physical arms and things like that, but there are other forms of war going on in this present world. Il y a d'autres formes, d'autres genres de guerres qui se produisent aussi. And as you say, nations will rise against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, and there will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in various places. Et um, uh, une nation s'élèvera contre une autre nation, un royaume contre un autre, et il y aura en divers lieux des famines et des tremblements de terre. And we are all are privy to the fact that these are all happening in our day. Et nous pouvons voir que tout ceci se passe maintenant aujourd'hui. We do hear of earthquakes happening in diverse places. Nous entendons parler de tremblements de terre à différents endroits. We do hear of disasters occurring in various places. Nous entendons parler de désastres naturels à différents endroits. People are suffering from hunger and malnutrition. Les gens souffrent de de la faim et de la malnutrition. We are in Canada so we don't see these things, brothers and sisters. Nous sommes au Canada donc peut-être que nous ne voyons pas ces genres de choses. We are in a country that is blessed, I should put it that way. Nous sommes dans un pays qui est béni. And hardly will you find anyone going throughout the day without food. Et c'est possible que vous ne voyez pas quelqu'un qui n'a pas mangé de la journée. But there are other places in the world where people go for days, weeks without food. Mais il y a d'autres endroits dans le monde où des gens ne mangent pas pendant des jours, des semaines. 
People who are involved in an aid work can attest to this. Et les personnes qui travaillent avec les groupes d'entraide peuvent attester de cela. And for many of us, before we came to Canada here, et il y a des gens avant qu'ils ne viennent au Canada ici. We were living under trying times and trying conditions. Ces personnes vivaient dans des uh, moments très difficiles, dans des conditions très difficiles. When you tell somebody here, one of our children who grew up here. And be some of the children who grew up here to fast and pray. They don't see the essence of it. Lorsqu'on demande à un enfant qui est né ici, qui a grandi ici, de jeûner et prier, ils ne voient pas l'importance. Because everything is at their disposal. Parce qu'ils ont tout à leur disposition. Just click on something and it's here. Et ils ont juste à cliquer sur quelque you, you chose. You just et ils ask ont... for something and you get it. Et demande juste une chose et. But ils for ont... some of us who came from where we came from. Et um, pour parmi nous, nous venons. Even to get the visa to come here, Même you know the, visa, the number of weeks and months people had to fast and pray. Pour avoir le visa pour venir au Canada, il y a des gens qui ont dû jeûner et prier pendant des semaines. My brother, my sister, the point I would like us to draw our attention to is that there are people in other places that are suffering. Et le point que j'aimerais faire, c'est qu'il y a des gens dans d'autres endroits du monde qui souffrent. There is famine, there is pestilence in various places. Il y a la famine et puis il y a la destruction à différents and endroits. These are some of the things that our Lord Jesus Christ spoke about. Et ces choses, Jésus Christ en avait déjà parlé. And the interesting thing he says that is that all these things are just the beginning of sorrows. Et ce qui est intéressant, c'est qu'il dit que tout ceci n'est que le commencement des douleurs. So what this tells me is that more difficult times are ahead. Et donc ce que cela me dit c'est que il y aura carries. de plus difficiles moments au devant de nous. More challenging times are ahead. Nous aurons if beaucoup the, plus Jesus de défis. So my brother my sister I would like to encourage every one of us. Donc j'aimerais vous encourager ce matin. To hold firm to our Christian faith. Accrochons-nous à notre foi chrétienne. Hold firm to our profession. Accrochons-nous à notre profession. And that difficult times are coming. Parce qu'il y a des moments difficiles qui viennent. And it viennent. is only those who know the Lord. Et c'est seulement ceux qui connaissent le Seigneur. Who put their trust in the Lord. Qui se confient au Seigneur. They are the ones who will be able to survive these difficult times. C'est juste ces personnes-là qui pourront surmonter ces temps difficiles. Bearing in mind that Jesus has said that if the days are not shortened even those who are elected cannot make it et um, rappelez-vous que Jésus Christ a dit si les jours ne se raccourcissent pas même les élus ne, ne, ne réussiront pas i pray that you and i will hold firm to what we profess je prie que nous nous accrochions à ce que nous confessons jesus mentioned something that i would like us to take note of again here in the verse 9 he says Then they will deliver you up to uh, tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by nations for my name's sake. Et le verset 9 de Matthieu 24 nous dit, Alors on vous livrera au tourment et l'on vous fera mourir et vous serez haï de toutes les nations à cause de mon nom. Brothers and sisters, trust me. A lot of people are suffering for the very fact that they are Christians. Et il y a beaucoup de gens qui souffrent pour le fait même qu'ils soient euh, qu'ils sont des chrétiens. Many people are facing persecuti- persecutions for the very fact that they profess to be Christians. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui sont persécutés parce qu'ils confessent qu'ils sont chrétiens. You and I know that even in this con- our country Canada here. Et nous savons même qu'ici au Canada, if you I and mean, be boldly profess or confess your Christian faith. Lorsque somewhere. si vous um, professez ou vous confessez votre foi chrétienne de manière courageuse, you face a form of um, how do you call it persecution. Vous 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 um, vous avez une forme de persécution. Because people begin to think of you as this is has some, some childish mentality. Et parce que les gens vont commencer à penser um, que vous avez une mentalité d'enfant. And this person does not fit into our circles. Et que cette personne ne fait pas partie de notre cercle. So you will be eliminated or you will be sidelined in many things. Et donc on va vous éliminer dans plusieurs choses. And it happens at the workplaces. Et cela se passe dans les travail. It happens in travail. various social settings. Et ra- um, cela se passe For dans les endroits that you profess to be Christian. Dans sociaux parce que vous avez confessé que But vous êtes chrétien. My brother, chrétien. my sister, hold on. Mes frères et sœurs, accrochez-vous. Because the Bible says the Lord Jesus Christ we are following. 
Parce que la Bible nous dit que Jésus-Christ que nous suivons, he went through this. Il, il a passé à travers How ceci. Much more his followers. Et pourquoi pas ces, ces personnes qui le suivent. His followers in the past have also suffered persecution. Les personnes qui ont suivi Jésus dans le passé ont eu des persécutions. The apostles of old, and many of them, perhaps apôtres, except John, except John who went to the island of Patmos, many of them were killed. They were cut into two. They were destroyed. Les apôtres de the Bible Jésus says. en ce moment là, il y a plusieurs qui ont été persécutés. Ils ont été tués. And many Christians these days who are on on the field, uh, uh, evangelism field, reaching out to save souls, are being persecuted and killed. Et il y a beaucoup d'évangélistes aussi qui sont persécutés et qui, tués. So notice that Jesus said that, and it is happening. Et donc rappelez-vous que Jésus Christ l'a dit et cela se passe maintenant. He said, "You'll be hated of all nations for oui. my name's sake." Vous serez haï de toutes les nations à cause de mon nom. Because the name of Christ is upon you, Parce you will be hated. Parce que le nom de Christ est sur vous, les so, gens vous haïront. When somebody hates you for being a Christian, know that you have said it. Et donc, si quelqu'un vous hait parce que vous êtes chrétien, rappelez-vous que Jésus-Christ l'a dit. But it doesn't mean you should hate the person one back. Ce, cela ne voudrait pas dire que vous devez haïr la personne aussi. Because Jesus has said in Matthew chapter 5 that um, bless your enemies, love those who hate you and do good to those who despitefully use you and persecute you. Parce que Jésus-Christ nous dit dans Matthieu 5 de bénir nos ennemis et aussi de prier pour ces personnes-là qui nous persécutent. And when you do this, you will be qualified to be called the child et of God. Et lorsque nous faisons cela, Hallelujah. nous sommes qualifiés à être appelés enfants de Dieu. So brothers and sisters, let us remain firm in the Lord. Et donc accrochons-nous, restons fermes dans le Seigneur. Because Jesus has said, all these things will come in, will come, are coming. Parce que Jésus-Christ a dit que tout ceci allait se produire. And they, they are happening. Et donc cela se passe maintenant. So let us be mindful of that. Amen. Et donc rappelons-nous de cela. Let us take note of one thing that Jesus said also in the verse 10. Et donc Jésus continue aussi dans le verset 10. And this I would like us to pay attention. It says, and then will many be offended. Alors aussi plusieurs succomberont and will betray one another. Et ils se trahiront. And will hate one another. Se haïront les uns les autres. Many will be offended. Et donc plusieurs vont succomber. And they will betray one another. Et ils vont se trahir. And will, they will hate one another. Et ils se haïront les uns les autres. But this is, a, this is a sad thing for us to even mention as a church. Et donc c'est quelque chose de triste. That instead of having the love of God among us, à, 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 au lieu d'avoir l'amour de Dieu, we begin to take offense at things. Nous commençons à être offensés. And instead of loving one another, we hate one another. Et au lieu de nous aimer les uns les autres, nous nous haïssons. I pray that. This will not happen in Ottawa. Je prie que cela ne se produise pas à Ottawa. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus said it will happen and it is happening. Et parce que Jésus-Christ a dit que cela se produira et cela se produit. So when there is any sign or symptom of anyone taking offense at anyone, please let's remember that Jesus has said it. Et donc si quelqu'un offense une autre personne, rappelez-vous que Jésus-Christ l'a dit. So let us not allow ourselves to be victims of that. Ne nous laissons pas être des victimes de cela. Let those who want to be victims of that, but not we ourselves. Amen. Ne soyons pas victimes de cela. Because Jesus said we should love one another and so fulfill his, pro, uh, his um, commandment. Amen. Et parce que Jésus-Christ nous a dit de nous aimer les uns les autres afin de pouvoir accomplir son commandement. He talks about false prophets rising and deceiving many, which I have spoken about. Et ça parle aussi de faux prophètes qui s'élèveront. And he talks about lawlessness becoming so rampant and so abundant to the point that the love of many will begin to wash cold. Et aussi, ça nous dit aussi dans le verset 12 que l'iniquité se sera accrue, la charité du plus grand nombre se refroidira. Sin will become so common and popular to the point that it will feel normal to be sinning, even le in the church. Le péché sera tellement populaire que ça sera, ça sera vu comme normal de pécher dans l'église. And when the church is inundated with sinning, the glory of the Lord begins to depart. Et lorsque l'église est remplie de péché, la gloire de Dieu s'en va. Because when sin when when sin begins to have dominion the love and passion we have the, for the lord begins to dwindle et lorsque le péché règne ou domine la passion l'amour que nous avons so, pour christ s'en va my brother and my sister i am pleading with all of us that 
in these our times, we have a lot of lawlessness and sin, I mean, all over. Et je vous en prie, nous savons que maintenant, dans notre temps, aujourd'hui, nous avons beaucoup de péchés qui courent. Let's ask for the strength of the Holy Spirit to abstain from these sins. Nous allons demander que le Saint-Esprit nous fortifie afin que nous puissions nous abstenir de ces péchés. So that the love of God among us will be stronger and greater. Afin que l'amour que nous avons les uns pour les autres soit plus grand. Because the moment we allow sin to reign in our midst and the love of God in us begins to dwindle. Une fois que nous, a, nous laissons le péché régner sur nous et l'amour de Dieu baisser, the church becomes a this a disunited body of Christ. L'église devient un corps du Christ qui n'est pas uni. And we are not able to see the hand and the glory of God in the church. Et nous n'allons pas voir la main et la gloire de Dieu dans l'église. So brothers and sisters, I will humbly plead that we all become one, just as Jesus prayed for the church. Et donc soyons tous un comme Jésus-Christ a prié pour l'église. And through that we will strengthen each other and the love of God will be shed abroad among us. Et nous allons nous fortifier les uns les autres et l'amour de Dieu va régner parmi nous. Jesus make a statement here and he says but when after saying all this says but he who endures to the end is the one who will be saved. Et le verset 13 nous dit mais celui qui persévérera jusqu'à la fin sera sauvé. All these things he says talk about are happening they are bound to happen but he says he who will endure to the end alors, tout ce dont Jésus a parlé est en train de se produire maintenant, mais il nous dit que celui qui va persévérer jusqu'à la fin sera sauvé. My brother, my sister, Frères et sœurs, le message of the Lord to us as a body of Christ is that let us march on. Le message de Christ pour nous aujourd'hui, c'est que nous continuons d'avancer. Let us march on. Nous continuons d'avancer. Because he who endures to the end shall be saved. Parce Amen. Que celui qui persévère jusqu'à la fin sera sauvé. Jesus says something in the book of um, Genesis concerning Noah and I would like to draw some uh, lessons from that. Et Jésus Christ a dit quelque chose dans le livre de Genèse concernant Noé. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says that um, no, uh, in the days of Noah there was so much sin et that Genèse 6 nous dit qu'au temps de Noé, il y avait beaucoup de péchés. All manner of sin was going on. People were marrying. People were, I mean, having pleasure, engaging in all sorts of things. Et lorsque ces péchés se produisaient, les gens se mariaient, ils faisaient toutes sortes de choses. And when you read Genesis chapter 6, verse 6, it says that God was even, I mean, sorry, or he, it, it grieved God that he created mankind. Et le verset 6 de Genèse 6 nous dit que l'Éternel se répentit d'avoir fait l'homme sur la terre et il fut affligé. Because of the abundance of sin that was I mean, going on. À cause de, de, des péchés qui se passaient en ce moment-là. And God had in mind to destroy the whole world. Et donc Dieu avait en tête de détruire tout le monde. But the Bible ensuite. says that Noah found grace in the sight of God. Mais Hallelujah. Nous dit que Noé eut grâce aux yeux de Dieu. And I pray that you and I will continually find grace in the sight of God, even in this perverse generation. Et je prie que nous nous trouvons grâce aux yeux de Dieu durant and, cette génération. And through that, God instructed Noah uh, to build the ark. And through, et that, à and through that, cela, Noah's family was saved. Dieu a, um, a demandé à Noé de construire l'arche et la famille de Noé fut sauvée. And when Noah was busy doing the work of God, building the ark, um, the people were just going about sinning and doing their own business. Et lorsque Noé um, construisait l'arche de Dieu, les gens continuaient à pécher. But the Bible says that when the fullness of time came, mais la God dit, caused flood to destroy the whole world. Lorsque le temps fut arrivé, le, Dieu a permis que le, le monde soit inondé. And the Bible is telling us also, or maybe Jesus is telling us, that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Et Jésus Christ nous dit, comme cela était dans le temps de Noé, cela sera aussi au temps du Fils de l'homme. Many people will be engaging in all manner of sin and all manner of evil. 
Beaucoup de and gens, the coming of the Lord will take them on our words. Beaucoup de gens continuera à pécher, faire um, toutes sortes de choses, et la venue du Christ les prendra de surprise. It is my prayer that you and I will be vigilant and be watchful and be prayerful. Et c'est ma Hallelujah. prière que nous restons vigilants et que nous restons en prière. So that we will escape all the things that are coming upon the face of the earth. Afin de pouvoir échapper à toutes les choses qui vont se produire à la fin des temps. Hallelujah. Amen. In bringing the message to a close, I would like to uh, take a portion of scripture from Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36. Nous allons lire Luc chapitre 21 verset 31 à 36. Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36. Verset 34 à 36. He says, "But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and the cares of this life, that that day may come upon you unexpectedly, for it will come." as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. Luc 21, verset 34 à 36. Prenez garde à vous-même de crainte que vos cœurs ne s'apaisantissent par les essais du manger et du boire. Brothers and sisters, et uh, par les soucis de la vie et que ce jour ne vienne sur vous à l'improviste. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Brothers, it's, it's a, in summary, I have shared insights from our Lord Jesus Christ to the church. Et donc, uh, en résumé, je vous ai parlé de ce que Jésus-Christ a dit à l'église. Which is the body of Christ. Qui est le corps du Christ. And as we go about equipping the church as an army to possess the nations. Alors que nous équipons l'église comme une armée pour posséder les nations. Let us be mindful of the fact that Jesus has cautioned us about things happening in this world. The one of them being deception, the one of them being the signs of the uh, 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 of the age which are all pointing to the coming of Jesus Christ. Rappelons-nous que Jésus-Christ nous a déjà averti des choses qui allaient se passer, la déception du diable et aussi les choses des fins de temps. And he's cautioning us to be take heed or to be watchful. Et il nous dit de prendre garde ou de veiller. Because if we are not watchful, our whole being will be en um, I don't know what is the right word, They're encapsulated. Hallelujah. Our whole thinking will be around the cares of this world to the point that we will neglect the need for us to maintain integrity, to serve the Lord with all truthfulness and faithfulness. Et si so that pas, the coming of God, the Lord will catch us on our ways. Si nous ne faisons pas attention, nous serons tellement préoccupés avec les choses, les avertissements que Jésus-Christ a donnés. Nous allons oublier um, de nous concentrer sur ce que nous devons faire pour rester préparés, pour ne pas être pris à l'improviste lorsque Jésus-Christ revient. So we have been encouraged to watch and, be pray, and pray always so that we may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are going, even going on in this present day. Mm -hmm. Donc nous devons veiller et prier de manière constante afin de pouvoir nous préserver des choses qui vont se passer. And above all, to be able to stand before Christ when he returns. Et au-delà de tout, um, pour que nous puissions nous tenir devant Christ lorsqu'il revient. So the question I would like to pose is that looking at yourself and looking at myself and looking at each and everyone gathered here, are we in the position To, to be able to say concretely that we are prepared to I mean, meet the Lord when he comes. Alors, en nous regardant nous-mêmes, est-ce que nous pouvons dire de manière concrète que nous sommes prêts à rencontrer le Seigneur lorsqu'il vient? He has made us aware that as at, as at the time Jesus was on, on earth, he did not know even when he will come. It was only the Father who knew it. Et lorsque Jésus-Christ était sur terre, il ne savait pas quand il reviendrait. C'est seulement le Père qui le savait. And the Bible makes us aware that His coming is imminent and it is going to happen. Et la Bible nous dit que son retour est proche et cela se produira. So the question is, are you ready and are you prepared to meet the et Lord? Et la question est, est-ce que vous êtes prêt? Est-ce que vous êtes préparé à rencontrer le Seigneur lorsqu'il revient? 
You may be among us this morning and you may be watching us online. And I might be saying, what is this guy talking about? My brother, my sister, the point I'm making is that Jesus is coming back. Le point c'est que Jésus-Christ revient. And he's coming for people who have devoted and given their lives to him. Et il revient pour les personnes qui se sont dévouées pour lui. So if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Et donc si vous ne connaissez pas Jésus comme votre Seigneur et Sauveur. Now is the opportunity. Maintenant est l'opportunité. Now is the moment to make amends. Maintenant est le moment and de se And now is the moment to give your life to Jesus. Et maintenant est le moment de donner votre vie à Jésus. You may have been with your parents all through. Peut-être que vous n'êtes pas content avec vos Following your parents to church. Peut-être que vous suivez vos parents pour l'église. But you have not sat down to analyze your personal life to give your life to Christ. Vous n'avez pas vraiment examiné votre vie personnelle pour donner votre vie à Christ. I would like to encourage you this morning. J'aimerais vous encourager ce matin. Don't bank your relationship with Christ on the on the faith of your parents. Ne regardez pas ce que vos parents font. Seek for that personal relationship with Christ. Vous devez rechercher une foi personnelle avec Jésus. And he will make you whole. Et il vous rendra complet. He will prepare you il va vous préparer so that you will be ready at his revelation. afin que vous soyez prêts pour may sa the Lord révélation. Bless his word. Que le Seigneur bénisse sa parole. And may the Lord bless everyone who has his, listened to his word. Et que le Seigneur bénisse to him be all glory, sa parole. Honor, que la gloire lui soit rendue. Dominion, power and forever and ever. L'honneur Amen. et la puissance au siècle des siècles. Amen. Shall we please be on our feet as we go before God in prayer? Mettons-nous debout, s'il vous plaît. In the cross, in the cross, be my, my glory ever, ever. till my wretched soul shall find rest, rest beyond the Examine your life and communicate with God. Examine you know yourself and then uh, 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 yeah, go before the Lord, analyze yourself and pray to God. Wherever you are, you have you find yourself lacking, ask for strength from the Lord to strengthen you. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, pray that the Lord Himself will come into your heart and make you whole this morning. Shall we pray at this time? Lord, we thank you for this morning. 
And we thank you for your word that has come to us. We give you praise, Lord, for as many as have heard your word. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for the message to us as a church. Our prayer, Lord, is that you, the Jehovah God, will have mercy on us. Strengthen us in all our ways, ways of weaknesses. Fortify-nous dans tous nos moments de, de faiblesse. And Lord, help us to remain in you, O oh Lord. Et aide-nous à rester en toi, demeurer en toi. Wherever we may be lacking, Lord, we pray for strength from your Holy Spirit. Tout ce dont nous manquons, Seigneur, nous prions pour ton Esprit Saint. To propel us to move on in you. Aide-nous à marcher, à avancer en toi. And Lord, at this point, I present those that may know you, know, know you, Lord, as their Lord and Savior. Maintenant, je présente ces personnes-là qui ne te connaissent pas comme leur Sauveur et Seigneur. I'm asking that your divine Holy Spirit will touch their lives. Je prie que ton Saint Esprit puisse toucher leur vie. And open the eyes of their understanding. Et um, ouvre leurs yeux. The Lord, they will also be brought into the fold of the Lord. Et afin qu'ils puissent venir aussi faire partie de la famille. So that de Jesus, Dieu. when you appear in your glory, afin que lorsque tu reviens dans ta gloire, none of them will be found wanting. Et ils ne resteront pas en arrière. May your name be praised. Que ton nom soit béni. And may your name be glorified. Que ton nom soit glorifié. For the ministration of your word. Pour ta parole ce matin. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Que Dieu vous bénisse. And what do we say to our elder Stephen Asamoah? Que disons-nous à notre que ancien vous bénisse, que le God Seigneur Richie le bénisse. You. Amen. Are we ready to take up the mantle? Are we ready to take up the mantle? Est-ce que vous êtes prêts à prendre le manteau? We heard it, we heard it all that everything that's happening in this world. Nous avons entendu tout ce qui se passe dans ce monde. Are we ready to take on the mantle that God has put on us? Est-ce que nous sommes prêts à prendre le manteau que le Seigneur a mis sur nous? I pray that we reflect on this as we um, go through the week. Amen. Et que nous pensons à cela durant toute la semaine. Um, before we take our tithes and offering, just one announcement I forgot to mention. Avant les dîmes et offrandes, il y a une annonce que j'ai oublié de faire. Uh, I'm the Angie and Asamoah family. They have a message um, to, towards the church. Et la famille Angui et Asamoa a just, un message pour l'église. I'm just saying thank you um, for the final funeral rites of their beloved father. Et ils disent merci pour uh, um, les funérailles de leur père. So I'll read the message in French and English. Okay. Um, so, uh, not in French, so. Bonjour à tous et toutes. À la famille Adou, la grande famille Angui et à Samoa en Côte d'Ivoire tiennent sincèrement à dire infiniment merci au pasteur à Santé Ado, aux membres du conseil de l'église et à tous les frères et toutes les sœurs en Christ pour votre soutien spirituel, moral, physique et financier lors des funérailles de leur regretté père Angui Bernard. Que Dieu vous bénisse abondamment pour ce magnifique amour que vous avez témoigné à notre égard. Honorine Angui. And just a message in English. Uh, the Adu family and the extended Angui and Asamoa family in Ivory Coast would like to sincerely thank Pastor Asante Adu, uh, the church's leadership, and all the brethren in Christ for your spiritual, moral, and physical, physical and financial support during the funerals of our beloved father, Angui Benar. May God bless you abundantly for this magnificent love that you have shown us. Amen. So we just want to continue to support the family um, in prayer um, at this time. Nous voulons continuer à soutenir la famille en prière aussi. And at this moment, we would like to take our tithes and our offering. Nous allons prendre notre dîme et offrande. Just a reminder, our tithe is 10% of your income. Et notre dîme est 10% de notre revenu. And offering whatever God has placed on your heart is 
what you're going to be um, providing to the Lord. Et l'offrande, c'est ce que vous avez à cœur de donner à Dieu. So the ushers are walking through the rows. If you need an envelope, they will hand one to you. Si vous avez besoin d'une enveloppe, vous pouvez lever la main, vous pouvez en recevoir une. And just a reminder, um, the e-transfer um, account for the church is cop Ottawa District at gmail.com. Vous pouvez le faire électroniquement aussi à cop Ottawa District gmail.com. And if you normally go to um, if you normally go to the Emmanuel Assembly, the email account is cop Ottawa at can at gmail.com. Et si vous allez à l'assemblée à Caen, le, um, le courriel est cop Ottawa à Caen arroba gmail.com. Amen. So I invite you all to um, stand, to be on your feet as the praise and worship team will lead us in a time of offering and, and, um, for, and for the prayer afterwards. And lastly, we'll uh, um, call our Apostle Queenie to give us the closing prayer and the benediction. Amen. Shall we be on our feet? Mettons-nous debout. Shall we go? God, you're so good. God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my Lord. God, you are so good. God, you're so good. Oh, God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my God. Excellent is thy name. Excellent is thy name. Excellent. your name we thank you for this offering we pray that you will bless this offering and we it can be used to the expansion of your kingdom i pray that you will bless every pocket that I gave in jesus name we pray amen béni soit le seigneur est-ce que vous êtes content d'être dans la présence du Seigneur? Je regarde vos visages. Shall we rise up as we prepare to Mettons-nous debout. Go into a new week. I want us to commit ourselves into the hands of the Lord. Remettons-nous dans les mains de Dieu. May the Lord go before each one of us. Que le Seigneur parte au devant de In every nous. area of our life as we go through this week. Qu'il soit avec nous durant la semaine. I want you to pray for your husband or your wife, your children, your parents. Mari, pour <coughs> votre femme, pour vos enfants. Let us commit the work ahead of us into his hands. Remettons notre um, travail mm. dans les mains. May his Dieu. presence be with us at our work. Que sa présence soit avec nous dans nos May the presence of the Lord be with us even in the work that we do. Que sa présence soit avec nous lorsque nous travaillons. Be with us in our school. Que sa présence soit avec nous dans nos écoles. May the presence of the Lord be with us in our families. Que sa présence soit avec nous Present dans nos familles. Present every challenge that you are aware of this coming week into the hands Tout of the Lord. Tout défi que vous aurez cette semaine. May the guidance spirit of the Lord go before each one of us. Que l'esprit de Dieu parte au devant de nous. May His presence go before us. Que sa présence parte au devant de nous. In the name of Jesus. Lift up a prayer unto the Lord. Father, we thank you as a church. We thank you as a people. We thank you as a family. 
We bless your name for your keeping power. We bless your name for the hand that is strong and powerful over our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you have commanded angels to take care of our going out and our coming in. We commit the coming week of God into your hands. You have promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And this is the confidence with which we enter this week. May your presence never leave us. We pray, O oh Lord, that you open the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing unto somebody. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you heal the sick. Restore joy in the home that is full of turmoil. Take away the spirit of confusion. Take away the spirit of timidity. Take away the spirit of heaviness. And visit your people with peace. Visit your people. Father, visit your people. If there is somebody in this house, O oh Lord, at this time, whose heart is heavy, we pray that you lift that spirit of heaviness and give unto us a garment of praise. Take away the disappointment, the ashes, and crown us with a crown of glory, even as we enter into this coming way. May your presence be with us. May your favor go before each one of us. May your power be made manifest in each one of us. May healing take place in our lives in the name of Jesus. May you restore our joy. May you restore the peace that only you can give. And now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the God of all grace who has called us unto this eternal glory. May he keep each one of us in the palm of his hand. May his goodness and his mercy follow us all the days of our lives. May the Lord turn his face towards you this week. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you this week. May mercy and grace be lifted over your life. May he watch over your going out and your coming in. In the name of Jesus.